I think it's finally time we start working back on the old twin turbo LS swapped new edge Mustang. Since we've left off, I've had problems with it overheating. Obviously, I put this guy in, and but I want to delete this whole contraption right here. So what I might do is pull this radiator out one more time and actually just cut that off, weld it. That way there's no pressure being backfed in a sense. And then also we need hood pins, okay? This thing had those ugly hood pins, the circle style that the previous owner put in. I'm putting in this arrow catches that I think look so sleek, so nice. And I'm not, I didn't even get the cheap ones that have the key to actually lock it. No, we got the good arrow catches. So we're gonna install those as well. So let's get going, pulling this radiator and getting this thing welded up. Cause I am tired of not being able to drive this car. And you guys are tired of not seeing it on the channel. As you can see, I've already cut out one. If I can get it back out. And we got this whole thing lined up and marked out. So now it'll sit directly in there. That honestly looks super nice. So now what I need to do is try to measure from the bottom here, side to side here, and make sure it's even because my OCD will just kill me if they're crooked in any sort of way. Everybody's got to point it out. And I just want it to be straight. Um, so I'm hoping this hole is relatively close to where he labeled it last time. But let's keep going. I need this done. Apparently it's supposed to heavily storm tonight with a lot of hail and tornado risk. How fun. Well, it's been severely too long since I picked up the camera. 22 days to be exactly. But since you guys last saw it, we were putting the hood pins on. Technically that is done. I'd actually have to make a bracket to make this side work to actually bolt it down. But what I want to do is pull out the old Camaro radiator and uh, actually cut this off and weld that off so this whole section here because i think what's happening when it overheats this is actually not um for the overflow this is going to be pressurized so it's pushing it back into here pushing into here and then pushing out there and leaking so what i want to do cut it block it weld it and slap this all back together and then loop this back into the overflow and the coolant system should be done so let's go ahead we need to pull out the intake get the radiator out, drain the coolant, which sucks because I've already done that like 17 times. What are you doing over here, Lane? Tedious, I'm being tedious. I see the wheel, I see the hub. It looks like it didn't fit. Nope, so we're trying to dremel this out, but we're not doing it the proper way, so I just keep gumming up the bit. So I'm gonna reevaluate my life real quick and uh, see if I can find a more efficient way to do this. Yeah, that's just fun, fun, fun. So we had to run the 235, 75, 15. So they're about a 25, 26 inch tall tire to make this actually work. Um, since you guys last seen it, I think you guys just heard it start. So we got the whole accessories on. I have a drive shaft that's on the bottom. Um, so this one's coming together really quick. Um, the next video you guys are gonna see is probably it driving. You know, maybe Lane doing a couple things. But enough of the Miata. Let's get back to this. Everybody wants the Mustang content. I want to see the Mustang going. So let's go ahead and pull the radiator out and get to going. Before I mess up and make a mess inside the garage, let's go ahead and I pushed it out. And now we can get to everything. And I'm trying to figure out, I think I should have everything taken care of because this comes off, bam. All right, we should be ready to lift up on this guy, slide her down. Oh, it's a little heavy. And my mouth is inside this intake. Ugh. There it goes, fans off. Ugh. Ugh. There it goes. 
Hold on, I'm trying not to pour it into the... Ow! Into the trailers? Into the trailers. I can't tell if that's coolant or really ugly water. It's cool for everybody to ask. All right. Now that that's off, we can cut this and weld it up just like we welded the other two bongs. Are you grounded? No. You're no not grounded, grounded, are you? No ground. <laughs> I asked you if you were forgetting something. No, I'm not forgetting nothing. I just now, I'm starting now. Time to put this bad boy back in. Look how easy that was, and it took me a whole two other months because I didn't want to do it. Oh god, here we go. So I need to pick up on this. Cause it yeah, this gets stuck in between that and that. That's not what I want. Okay, I'm in, you're in. Oh, it ventured up a little bit. It's alright. Okay. Alright, now we just gotta put everything back how we had it, but just in reverse. This is the easy part, right? All right. Now, basically, everything is back to where it was. We just gotta tighten up the hose, upper, lower, and then figure this guy out here. <gasps> Excuse me. All right, so this is good. Bottom hose clamp is iffy. This hose clamp is good. Fan shroud's back on. All I gotta do is tighten up this intake hose and plug in my IAT. Now I just gotta vacuum fill it and then top it off with coolant and let's go drive it. Cause I'm gonna have to use water instead. And I did make a post about the Shelby. You guys wanna see some more content? I kinda wanna do some night racing uh, with it because uh, this one just being a, a pain in my booty. So, but that being said, Let's vacuum fill it, put the water in it. We're gonna let it sit here at 25, just chilling. All right, here we go. One, two, three, boom! I would use coolant, but uh, this is for testing purposes. Yeah. Testing purposes only. We're not doing this for realsies. All right, coolant systems top off. Now we just gotta start it, make sure we're not gonna overheat. Don't you love that it just fired right up? It always sounds like it's got a big boy cam in it. It definitely doesn't. I swear to God, I don't know why it's doing that. Hey, Dad. It sounds really cool. Yeah, it's a little mad. Don't know why. I'm gonna just make sure everything is good here. Yeah, don't know why. It's a little mad. I wonder if that sensor's dead. Check that sensor real fast. Maybe I got a bad air fuel. Maybe. 
Maybe the sensor's finally dead. Start it back up, see if it reads. Unless it's just severely pissed off. I don't know. I think that sensor is dead. Or it's unplugged somewhere, but... I'm kind of thinking and leaning towards it's dead because it's reading lean to the max, which is weird. So I'll get one tomorrow, but I need to get the brake switch hooked up so I have brake lights because that's one thing I need to do so I can drive it. All right, in the downtime, I've gotten the brake switch to work. So last night, the last thing you guys saw was the car starting. I come back this morning to finally make sure everything's checked out properly. And well, sure enough, I get back in there, reconnect the battery. And it doesn't start. So what does that mean? Why do I feel like a fuel pump's gone? A $300 fuel pump. The dual pump, it's not a single pump, it's a dual pump. So I guess the remainder of this video is gonna be me tearing apart the fuel pump top hat piece to see. I really hope that it hasn't gone out already because I don't a special order of those. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's take the carpet out. It's so easy to get to. All those are unhooked. I should be able to pop this up. Yeah, there we go. I'm really hoping one of the connections here is just bad. Do, do, do. Nothing looks just broken. Let's just go ahead and pull this whole mechanism out. Racetronic fuel pumps. Well, that might be one problem right here. The ground's off. So let's go ahead, disconnect the battery before something bad happens. I really hope this is a problem because I'm, I'm tired of doing this or I gotta fix it and not drive it. Oh man, when will my luck change? All right, let's go ahead and just make a nice, clean, small. Well, if I'm doing this. Oh, the bolt fail. Oh, this whole thing came apart. Well, that's not good for it. Could be the whole reason right there. But now what sucks is I'm gonna have to retrieve that bolt that just fell in there. Let's go ahead and do a little twisty twisty. And we need probably just enough to clamp it. Oh yeah, that's, that's good and tight right there. Good and tight. Shorten this too. Just be careful not to get that in the fuel tank. That's not something you want. I think she's good there. So the main thing, what I did yesterday, I actually put a T in here to make sure. All right, fuel pump's kicked on again. That's good, that is a good sign right there. So let's go ahead and fish out that bolt. There she is. Oh, I ain't getting my hands full of fuel for the next two weeks. Slide the fuel pump in there. Get my wires. Don't pinch your wires. That could have been what happened last time. Let's get all the wood back out. Don't forget your tools. So if we did everything correctly, once I hook this back up, turn this key, sounded like I got fuel again, and I do, I got 60. Let's go ahead and start it up, get this thing warmed up. Woo! It sounds way better. Way, way better. Now, like I said, just let it warm up. And I'm gonna go drive it around the park. 
see how she does. I got a water leak. All right, I got one hose clamp that I can see leaking. I thought I'm, I was gonna have a problem with it. Um, it's the bottom radiator hose. So just gotta replace it. We'll start back up, we'll top off the coolant and we'll go from there. Hose is replaced. Now we're gonna top off the water here. one more time on the vacuum bleed so hopefully we're good because it got it got hot fast but which where is the coolant's cold so it's like i think it's measuring coolant cylinder temp go ahead and start it up What's it leaking? Coolant right here out of the cap. What? And then I think that that valve cover isn't down all the way. Oh, it's a little spray and oil? Yeah, onto the header. Where are we leaking coolant at? Right here, out of the cap. Aw. The cap's leaking? Uh -huh. What insane tarnation? That's a new cap. Uh. Ugh, man. Yeah, that, and then if you look at the valve cover, it's, yeah, it's not super straight. What is going on with this car? Well, I just need it to work. <sighs> Every time I make, go to make it work, it's just like, uh, nope, not today. Man. That's so stupid. And you guys see why it's taking so long for videos to come out because the damn cars don't work. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, man. There's a bug in here. There's a bug. I don't like bugs. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys will know in the comments. Let me know. Cause this is honestly the most frustrating thing in the world is when cars don't work. Nobody wants to watch a car not work, am I right? Like why is the cap leaking? I don't know, it's a new cap. Both of these are new. This one's not leaking, that one's leaking. Oh man, I'm tired of this coolant problem. I might have to scratch it and do a whole, whole different thing, but I don't know. Now that my, my brakes feel like they're holding, I don't know what's going on there. It's like something inside moved. I don't know. We'll just catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.